Every single book in the world must have an author. The Noble Qur'an is, therefore, no exception. It is a book, so it must have an author. All Muslims believe that Allah is the one who revealed the Qur'an to Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. But those who do not believe so, they think otherwise. But who do they think wrote the Qur'an then? I mean, if they don't believe that the Qur'an is from Allah, then who is it from then? I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we have a very important topic. As you see, we heard in the introduction that every book has an author. Who is the author of the Quran? If we go back to the Muslims, Abdul video, when he said, well, the Quran, according to Muslims, the author is Allah. The Quran, according to non-believers, is who? And then he continues saying something really important. Because there aren't really many options, since Prophet Muhammad was the one who dictated the words to his companions, the writers of Wahi, to write it down. So, if they don't think it's from Allah, then it should be one of these four options, simply because there isn't any other possibility. So it should either be that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, authored the Qur'an himself. The second possibility would be that he used the previous books like the Bible or the Torah to write the Qur'an. Third, a Christian or a Jewish person had helped Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to write the Qur'an. Or fourth, it was Satan who had helped the Prophet to write the Qur'an and tell him about the news of former nations that he... Alright, here actually the Muslim, they gave the answer for all the questions. He just gave us the four. The Prophet himself, he made up. The Prophet, he learned from the Christians and the Jews. Uh, the Prophet, uh, a priest or, you know, he was teaching him. And Satan. Now we can prove all of those in a very easy way. Before we start, I'm going to open my Skype. So if there is any Ustad from Indonesia or, you know, in Asia, they call themselves Ustad, what we can do, you know, because simply they, uh, they do, uh, uh, you know, they play karaoke, you know, stars, they are stars. So we will open our pal talk, sorry, our Skype. And uh, if you are an Ustad and uh, feel free, you know, we would be happy to uh, listen to you or you can refute us. 
If the Quran is written from God, then God should do not be should not be stupid, right? He shall not speak as an illiterate person. But if this God he speak as a literate person, then this God is Muhammad and he is illiterate. We can prove that Allah is illiterate in tons and tons of verses in the Quran. But the easiest way is. Let us see we have a we have a Muslim trying to contact maybe. Uh, this is from yesterday. Okay. Let us give him a text so he can call now if you wish. All right. <clears throat> uh, I'm a Muslim. Okay. Did you say they fear? Oh, okay. Let us see this guy. Look like this guy is excited. Okay, look like this Abdul, his Allah is not functioning. If you are a Muhammadan and you think you can do better, please let me know. Here we have... Uh, okay. I don't see any Muslim texting reading. So, it's very easy to prove that the theory, this person who is a Muslim, is easy to prove. As easy it can as it can be. Look what he said. The Prophet himself, he wrote the Quran. The Muslim they say that they will say later, you know, well, the Prophet he can't write the Quran because uh, he's illiterate. But look how stupid this, this excuse is. They themselves they say that the Prophet he dictate the words of the Quran to the scribe. So writing the Quran does not have to be done by your hand. This is a very silly argument. I mean, this is how silly they are. Because there's a writer who write, and there's a writer, he say words. So it can be that you are a writer, let us say the author, not a writer, the author of the book, without writing, without knowing how to write, how to read, as long as there's a scribe to write for him. And remember, even the Quran was not even written in the time of Muhammad. It was collected long after his death, and most of it is gone. Uh, when here they, you know, they give us the option one after one, Satan helped him, Muhammad, he took the, uh, from the Christians, uh, the Jews, uh, books, uh, uh, priest, he helped him. We will find all reference in the Quran. Like as an example, uh, the Hadith says in the Quran, saying that when Waraq ibn Nawfal, which was a priest supposedly, and he is not really a Christian, he is Nasara, he is a, from a cult. Uh, when he died, Muhammad, he tried to commit suicide. He tried to commit suicide many times. Let us find the hadith. Here, if you read this hadith, this is Sahih Bukhari, so they cannot say this is not true, etc. You will see here it says that Waraq al Nufal is the first one actually. He even told Muhammad that you become a prophet, which means Muhammad, he did not even know. Isn't it weird, isn't it strange that the one who told Muhammad that you are a prophet is a priest? Not even the angel who supposedly came to him. I mean, can't the angel tell him, I am, a, I am an angel? Can't he tell him, today you became a prophet? No. His wife, she took him as if he's a kid, as you see here. Khadija, she accompanied him, and here you can see he is facing a lot of suffering. Uh, you know, his... Uh, uh, his neck muscles are shrinking in pain and Muhammad even he said to Khadija what's wrong with me and this is a clear sign of epilepsy this man is mentally ill then he told her everything had happened to him but before that you will see here and his neck muscles twitching with terror till he entered upon Khadija he said cover me cover me so he have a fever he have a fever and cold and they covered him till the fear. You see the word fear? Why Muhammad is living in fear when he saw and he heard an angel 
uh, bringing him the word of God. Isn't it the Muslim they say the Quran bring peace to our heart? Isn't this what they say to us? Since when? If your prophet himself did not receive the peace when he heard the Quran, he just heard the Quran and he went not. So, if you know, who, the Muslim even they say that the one who get crazy from hearing the Quran is satanic. Satan himself, he fought. Muhammad, he did more than 40 now. So how he is a prophet of God and he just heard the Quran and he is out of control. Fear, his neck is in pain, his, his muscles is uh, twitching uh, with terror till he entered upon Khadija and Khadija, she covered him. And then actually the different story says that he was making sound like a camel. So he makes sound from his from his throat like a like a sound like a voice of a camel so what happened to this prophet is he possessed by the devil is that because he's mentally ill choose one and then later we will find that muhammad when he when she took him to waraqa ibn nufal and it says here clearly that this waraqa he is a person who was writing a gospel in arabic that is the quran in the pre-Islamic period, become a Christian and used to write in the Arabic writing and used to write the gospel in Arabic. Do you see it? That is the Quran. And Muhammad, he stole many of, for sure, not all, because you can tell later the Arabic of Muhammad became horrible. You can tell when the difference between someone and someone else, when they, you know, the level of, of language. Muhammad is just a fool. His, his, his language was very funny. Uh, so here, the man he is writing in Arabic gospel. Where is this gospel? What happened to him? Muhammad have access to it, and he was with with, with Waraqa almost every day. Even when they when when he was lost, Muhammad, when he was a kid, they found him with Waraqa. So, and I believe this is my opinion. You know, Muslims don't have to agree with it or anyone. Uh, I believe the true father of Muhammad is Waraqa bin Nufa. If you read my book, you will see the sister of Waraqa bin Nufal, which is obviously sent by Waraqa. She offered the father of Muhammad 100 camel in order to if her. Excuse my language. This is what it is. Not, marry, not to marry her, to sleep with her. And Muhammad, he told her, Muhammad's father supposedly told her, I will be back after I finish with Amina or Amina. So he went to Amina and he did if her and then he came back to, to the sister of Waraqa. And then when she, so obviously she don't want him to go there. So now she knew that he went there and he did it already. So she told him, forget about it. And this is a proof that the father of Muhammad was a jagalo. And this is written all in Islamic books, have nothing to do with it. I'm just telling you what it is. And then you will see here that Warqal bin Nufal, when he died, the inspiration of the Quran stopped. Read carefully. It says here that when here it says, but if uh, uh, after a few days, Waraqa died, and the divine inspiration was also paused. Any Muslim can explain to us what is the connection? What what is the connection? Uh, Waraqa died, not Jibril. Why there's no more inspiration? What happened? Obviously, the one who was giving Muhammad satanic verses, it was Waraqa, and he died. And now Muhammad trying to find the replacement. And then you will see Muhammad, he tried many times to commit suicide by jumping from the top of the high mountain. It says here, and then he becomes so sad, Muhammad, as we have heard that he attend, intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountain. And every time he went to the top of the mountain in order to throw himself down, Gabriel appeared to him and said to him, Oh Muhammad, indeed you are a prophet, you are a messenger of Allah. And here you see how the stupid stories work. Because as you see, Muhammad is trying to commit suicide because Jibreel is not coming. So how Jibreel is coming and he's trying to commit suicide? There's no more inspiration. When Jibreel comes, he's an angel. That is the inspiration guy. That is the delivery guy. So he's, why Muhammad trying to commit suicide? Obviously, the story here is a fabrication. Muhammad trying to commit suicide, or thinking about it at least, because he doesn't know what to do now. The one who was giving him the Quran is dead. So when the Muslim they say, maybe a priest help him, yes. When a Muslim they say, maybe Satan help him, we say yes. Muhammad, 
he confirmed that he used to receive command from the devil. Read it. This is not our words, not our proper translation. This is not our hadith, this is not our book. So they can say whatever they want. They can say, he's lying. I'm showing you on the screen. I mean, all the Muslims, they say the same thing. He's lying, he's lying, he's lying. It's okay, you can say that. It's in front of you. It says here that Muhammad, he says, everyone have a devil. And if you do, if you might, you might argue saying he is saying a genie, read carefully. The mischief of shaitan. What is the name of the title? The mischief of shaitan. And his and how he sent his troops to tempt people. So Muhammad saying that every one of you he have a companion. He is a shaitan. They said to him, "Would you too, prophet?" He said, "Yes." But Allah helped me against him from his hand. And he does not command me but for good. So what this uh, story here uh, uh, confirming that Muhammad, you know, acknowledged that he received good command from the devil. Have you ever heard of a shaitan giving good command? He give a good command. This is the good shaitan. So the second theory about shaitan giving to Muhammad command is true. And we know all of us about the satanic verses, right? It's not a joke. You can, I mean, you can go and read it. And this is why, uh, uh, you know, Yasser Qadi, Muslim, they spit at him many times because sometimes he say things he should not say, you know, exposing uh, the ship at Muhammad. So satanic verses is very well known. But we, let us see one more hadith. Muslims, they agree that their prophet was under the control of shaitan. Here it says, narrated by Aisha, once the prophet was bewitched, so he began to imagine that he had done a thing. In fact, he did not. You ask the Muslims what bewitched mean. They would say black magic. Okay, is it black magic from the shaitan? The Quran says so. Now Allah is the one who taught the black magic, but the shaitans are the one who practice it. So the shaitan, according to the Muhammadan, he was successful to bewitch their prophet. And this prophet is totally it went insane to the point he don't even remember what he's doing. And he imagined he done a thing. In fact, he did not, which means he is living in illusion. So how Muhammad even he can receive Quran when everything he see is illusion. You know what I mean? How many Quran Muhammad received in this stage? According to Muslims, some they say six months, some they say one year. Uh, like because Allah took him 12 months to take off 12 knots made for Muhammad. If you don't know, the Muslim believe that people they can ma do magic to each other by blowing in the knot which is very funny and uh, nothing but a fiction you know explain to us that the one who wrote the Quran actually uh, uh, is an illiterate what kind of God he says such a thing you know somebody make a knot this is voodoo this is a stupid voodoo and who's, who's going to believe in it so when they say what well, they see the title of my video saying was Allah illiterate obviously he was because Muhammad is a, is a foolish man. He is putting his illiteracy, and his illiteracy is not about writing or reading, it's about his stupidity. He is illiterate as ignorant, and he claimed that somebody will make a knot and he will, uh, you know, do voodoo for you. If you read actually a translation here, uh, uh, it says uh, uh, the mischievement of those who practice uh, secret art. You see, for you who don't know uh, Arabic, you might accept this, but for me, this is a joke. Nowhere it says that. It says those who blow on the knot. Change the translator from Yusuf Ali to other donkey. You will find the whole thing change. Here we go. Why they are saying they practice secret art when it says the one who blow in the knot? There's a huge difference. I mean, why you why you decide to hide the word knot and the word blow in the knot? And you know, why you take it off? Because it's stupid and we have to hide it. Who in the world don't believe that somebody can make a knot for somebody and he can control him? If this is the case, we can control all, you know, president in the world, just make a knot for them. I will not you, right? So this is additional proof that the one who wrote the Quran is a certified idiot. And he is not only illiterate, he is beyond illiteracy. He is certified donkey. Let us continue and see what is more prove the theory which the Muslim they put by themselves in this video. 
And you know, the funny is that there is a there is a little girl, her name is Ali Dawa. She made a comment under that video saying, brilliant video, brilliant video. Brilliant video. Exactly. That's why we are using it. It's a brilliant. Right? It's very brilliant. So, a person who have little intelligence, he will not come with such, an, is, is such, a, such a reasoning, saying that Muhammad is under, uh, 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 you know, influence of a black magic by somebody making a knot for him. And then the funny is, uh, the solution for the knots is just to say, I seek refuge by Allah. So how come Muhammad, he needed two angels to come to fix the problem? Wasn't Muhammad seeking refuge by Allah? And then if we study carefully, do you see here it says in Arabic, وَمِن شَرِّ غَاسِقٍ إِذَا وَقَبْ إِذَا وَقَبْ What the Muslims translate, they say, uh, from the evil of the dark, darkening night as it is come with the darkness. I mean, no, no, evil come only in the darkness, in the night. That's weird. In fact, nothing in the translation is accurate. Here it says, either waqab, it's mean when the penis penetrate. And if there is any Muslim will say to me, you are a liar, this is your chance. Please call me right now and I will make you read by your own. This is about the penis who penetrate or stand up. Aisha, according to the story, she came to Muhammad and she wanted to have fun. Muhammad's penis is not functioning due to the black magic, supposedly. So, uh, and we can prove it, by the way, here we go. We can go and we will show you the hadith. Aisha, she is saying the following. The Prophet, he imagined himself having sex, but in fact, he did not. Here we go. Do you see it? So, sexually, he is in disability now. And the excuse is the black magic. So, the black magic not only control the illusion of Muhammad, the brain, even it's going down to his penis and his one testicle, because Khadija, uh, she broke one. So the prophet continued for such and such period, imagining that he had slept between two brackets, has sexual relationship with his wives. In fact, he did not. One day he said to me, O Aisha, Allah has instructed me regarding the matter about which I had asked him. There come to me two men. So look here, Muhammad claiming that two men, which is an angels, they come to him to fix the problem of the black magic. But here it says, all what you need to do to fight the black magic is to say, I seek refuge by Allah. So how come the Quran is not working? How weak is the Quran is? Now, if you are a Muslim and you are listening and you have any comment to say about what, uh, uh, what, uh, uh, what we are saying, please don't hesitate. We would like to hear from you and hear some intelligent uh, discussion. All right. Uh, the Muslims always they make videos saying Christian Prince uh, is lying. And the funny is, how a Christian is lying? They will say to you, the one who said that, he is a human. Okay. He is what? He is a human. Uh, I did not understand. What do you mean? The one who said that this is what's mean, it's a human. So do we get a monkey to explain it to you? <laughs> so this is how I lie. I read in your book. I'm reading books written by Muslims and, pub and those books are published for hundreds and hundreds of years. And nobody opposed them. The second we mention to them what is in their books, they go not. The one who explained this verse is the one which Muhammad himself, he prayed that he will explain the Quran. Muhammad, he said to Allah, may Allah, Allah make you Ibn Abbas, Hebrew Ummah, which means you are the scholar of all the nation. Was Allah wrong when he asked for such a request?
Did Allah grant Muhammad or not? The Muslim they say Allah will grant Muhammad anything. So Ibn Abbas says, إِذَا وَقَبْ قِيَامُ الذَّكَرِ قِيَامُ الذَّكَرِ When the penises stand up and get harder. Excuse my language again. As you know, here we are just educating. We are not, we are not trying to speak dirty, but this is what it is. And if there is any Muslim will say this is not true, please challenge me. My Skype is open, and I want to make you read it right now, right here. And here you ask yourself, why in the world, in the translation, none of them he said something about the penis standing up. Why in the interpretation it says that, but in the translation it doesn't say so? Simply because it is stupid, it is embarrassment, and it is obviously something coming from illiterate. And again, illiteracy, as I understand it, is not just a person who do not know how to write, how to read. It's a, it's a donkey trying to make, make himself smart. It is a certified idiot. And yet he claimed that this is a word from God. A word of God is speaking about somebody making a knot controlling your penis. Until now, we did not have any uh, text or request from Skype from any Muslim to contact me. Sound great because sound like they are agreeing that Muhammad is really uh, is uh, he is the one behind the Quran. Not all of it, as we said. Some from Waraka, some from here, some from there, some even from uh, from servants, slaves, uh, etc. Uh, but the most important still you know how we can even provide more uh, uh, like a problem with this book the stupidity here uh, Muslim they can go around it they can say oh this guy is lying doesn't mean so and uh, uh, even if we show them uh, like uh, uh, let us say the uh, Tafsir uh, Al-Fayruz Abadi Tafsir Al-Fayruzi you know Al-Khudayri Al-Suyuti uh, tafsir uh, Taj al Arus, uh, tafsir, I mean, uh, uh, all the books, all the famous Islamic books. Still, they will say, you know, he is lying. Like, if we go to Tafsir ibn Atiyah, which is a very famous sheikh, is the most stupid one of them. And we read what he says about that. It says, you know, Al Ghasiqu Rajul, the penis of the man. The book name Al Muharrir Al Wajizu Fi Tafsir Al Kitab Al Aziz Ibn Atiyah. Or what about Al Ghazali Al Tusi Shafi'i? Or what about Al Itqanu Fi Ulum Al Quran? So we can give them endless reference. Still, they will say to you, You're lying. Now, I want to show you that this book cannot be from God, because God should not say things twice wrongly. I'm not going to show you contradictions, which we showed before. If you remember, we, you know, we showed you before uh, how the Quran in one place says, uh, uh, like the mountains created, you know, uh, in a certain uh, like uh, order. And then the last one, it was the sun. In the other chapter, the opposite. There is no way God he would do such a thing. And actually the Quran itself says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, which supposedly means God, uh, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. And actually this is what Mimi Hijab, he used when he was speaking uh, to, uh, uh, to Burad. If you remember here, and then Burad, he made fun of him because he is being stupid. If a book is without contradictions, the book is found in it many contradictions. If it's from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. It's from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. It's mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is 
without contradictions that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a very, again, this is an illiterate excuse to claim that he have a book. And here we go, the friend, the atheist friend of the Mohammedan, who work in the Arabian countries getting a lot of money and he thought they thought because he is working for them he will say he would never say something wrong against Islam but he got them busted even though I think he don't mean to hurt the feeling and the testicles of the Mohammedan because it's a testicle nation women don't exist and everybody you go in the street everybody is a man you go to the football game everybody is a man you go to the theater everybody is a man women they stay home you know it's a testicle nation so the testicle nations have no testicles to call me and to to, to prove me wrong so if the Quran is saying that uh, uh, if this book is made by other than Allah, then we'll have to find contradiction. Well, the Quran is full of it. The Quran, there is no book can be this book about contradiction. And I will give you a simple example. And I will not mention the creation, which is a clear, clear contradiction, because we mentioned it many times before. But let's go here. Look at this. Chapter 15, verse number 28. Chapter 38, verse number 71. We will not read only one verse. We will read the, the, the two chapters about the creation of Adam. See, if God, is, if God he said something, he said something, right? I mean, whatever he said, it's going to be the same. Whatever you go the story. It is not right that the same story, and remember, the Quran is made only by Allah. You know, we can be four people, or five people, or ten people, well, listening to, uh, let us say, a teacher, or even a prophet. And then we write down, uh, he said uh, this, a human being, he can write, based on his memory, as, as much as he can remember exactly. You know, he tried to make it perfect, but there's no human being really can make it really perfect. And there's God supporting him, right? But here we have an, sorry, an, 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 a, a God himself is talking. So the story should not come twice differently. What Allah, he said to the angels, who is a Muslim would like to call me? Who is a Muslim would like to call me and tell me what Allah, he said to the angels? I see that you guys are not inviting many people. We have only less than even 800 people. Thank you for not sharing the links. As you see, our topics are very important. And, you know, it's nothing but a pure education. It's for free. I just woke up. I, I open. I went to sleep. I, I close my, my YouTube. So you can tell how many hours I'm putting here just to teach you. So uh, uh, I think you should care more for what we do. This is This is a lot of information. And this is a priceless information to educate you about how to defeat the cult and the garbage of Muhammad. If I am a Muslim and I am going live, you can imagine how many support, how much the Muslims will share my link. But thank God I'm not a Muslim. And you know what? It's okay. 700 is a blessing. But sometimes you ask yourself why the Christians don't do what they need to do. We need more. So that nobody will be fooled by this garbage. So Muslims... What Allah, he said. Let us read chapter five, 15, verse number 38. And remember when the Lord said to the angels, I am going to create a man from sounding clay of altered black smooth. So when I have finished him, or fashioned him, sorry, completely, and breathe into him the soul which I created for him, then fall you down, prostrate yourself into him. I mean, this translation is really weird. Let's change that. This, this, what, 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 what? I mean, look how, look how short the Arabic, look how long the English. The second you see the long English, it's, it sounds like the, the, the translator is struggling with the translation. Let us see another donkey. Switch. We switch donkeys. Okay, here now it's easier. Uh, so, 
Behold, the Lord says to the angels, I am about to create a man from sounding clay, from mud, mold, uh, molded into shape. Okay, so this is the first chapter. Let us go to the second chapter. Chapter 38, verse number 70. Behold the Lord, he says, I am about to create a man from clay. Anyone notice there's a difference? Let us put... We did not continue yet, by the way, because the difference is bigger than this. But let us put the two chapters next to each other. I will make them two browsers. Okay. Remember, the Quran supposedly is word by word of God. So God said, right? God said. It's not maybe, it's not somebody writing uh, like a summary. It says, no. God, he said, and this is mean that God, he said. As simple as that. There is no need for, you know, uh, uh, he said, she said, you know, this is wrong translation. This is, uh, you know, uh, so God, he said. Okay, what God said, let us see. And let us put the other one next to it. We are trying to, to make it fit, you know. Uh, that's not... Okay, let us do this. Behold, and remember, we are using the same translator, I guess, right? It was all Yusuf Ali. Behold, the Lord said the end to the angels, I am about to create man from clay. Behold, the Lord said to the angels, I am about to create a man from sounding clay, from mud molded into a shape. Which one of them is Allah said to the angels? Because it cannot be both. Did Allah say this word by word? Or this is fiction, somebody making up, telling us about a story? Because it cannot be the two, the two things in the same time. How many times Allah repeat the story to the angels? How many times Allah he came to the angels and says, Hey, angels, I'm going to create somebody. Twice, try, three times, five times. This is story is all over the Quran. But each time Allah he say the story, the story come differently. So if this is a story made by a person, his name is Allah, and he said, and he said, a sentence, well, it should appear exactly the same in the other place in the Quran. Do we have any Muslim here? Guys, do you see how important this is? Because there is no way this God, he came twice, like what? He went to the bedroom and he came again to tell them, hey, I just, you know, they will tell him, Allah, you told him already, are you stupid or what? I mean, stop your drama. And then he continued, look, the difference, not only in this verse, what about we go to the second verse, you know? Because, because the drama continues, it's not, you know, this is stupidity. Then he says, when I have fashioned him, forget about between two brackets, uh, and debris into him, uh, okay, my spirit, fill down you in obstance into him. Where is the... Let us put the Arabic. فَإِذَا سَوَّيْتَهُ وَنَفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي فَقَعُ لَهُ سَاجِدِينَ فَإِذَا سَوَّيْتَهُ وَنَفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي فَقَعُ لَهُ سَاجِدِينَ So both are the same. So how come the start changed? Do you see? So this is the same event. Because this is now is connected to a physical bowing down. Do you understand people I'm saying? The Muslim, they can't say, oh Allah, he told them the, the story in different place and it was different, you know. This is the same angels. He made them all bow down. 
So the first sentence is different from the second sentence, but the second action, all of them, they, after he put his spirit in, in all, all of them, they, they bow down. And then, look at the repeating. I mean, why does God is repeating himself? He just told us a story. And when I fashion him, etc. And then he saw, so the angels prostrate themselves. Here, so the angels prostrate themselves. And then it says, not so a please. Okay. And here it says, not so a please. But if you read in English, it looked the same. If you read in Arabic, it's not. Read carefully. إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ أَبَا أَنْ يَكُونَ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ So what the last word here? He refused to be from one of those who bow down. Let us go to the other verse here. It says, except Iblis, doesn't say what he did. You know, he, he was so proud and he was from the Kuffar. So they changed the translation. Read carefully. Not so Iblis, he was hearty and become one of those who reject faith. But here, it's not the same. We can let it go. Now let us go with what Iblis he said. Iblis, which means Shaitan, the big Shaitan, the father of Shaitan, who later Allah created for him a penis and the right thigh and the vagina and the left thigh. Uh, left thigh. Allah said, O oh, Iblis, what is your reason not to be among those who prostrate themselves? Okay, so Allah talking to Iblis. Uh, why? Qala ya Iblis, malaka alla takuna ma'as sajideen. Let us go to the other verse and love. Hmm. Here, the story is different, different words. <laughs> Look. Qala ya Iblis, ma mana'aka an tasjida ma lima khulaqt or khulaqt biyadi istakbarta am an kunta min al-ghalin, al-arin, sorry. I made, uh, I made the text for me so small, maybe for you, you see it, uh, you know, but for me, it's so small to read. So, in kunta min al-alin, so the last one is saying different here, he says, Allah, he says, oh, please, what prevent you from prostrate? This is the same in the other one. What is the reason to prostrate? No problem. Uh, but the other one saying differently. Ya Iblis, ma mana'aka an tasjuda lima khalaqta biyadi. Astakbarta am kunta min al Are you from the high? Are you proud? But this is not what he said to him in the other story. Even in English, it's not the same. Read carefully. Do you see it? So did Allah say the same sentence? For the same story, for the same moment, for the same day, for the same person. What here it says that Allah, he said to Iblis, is different from what it says here that Allah says to Iblis. Ali Muhammadan? So the question is, did Allah say this sentence? Because if Allah, he said the sentence, it's, they are not the same. One is saying, why you are refusing to prostrate to what I created by hand, my hands? The other one doesn't say anything about my created by my hands. What happened to about the one I created by my hands? One is saying, are you high and uh, healthy? Are you high? Are you, uh, are you proud of yourself? Are you from the mighty ones? The other one doesn't say that. So why there's differences? If the Muslim gonna say to us, the Quran was sent in seven reading, that would be stupid too, because that means there's no honesty of Allah revealing the Quran. Because if he said, if, he, if, he, if those twice different between each other, that's mean Allah did not say what he said here. Because it doesn't matter how many reading, it should be the same. This is what Allah said to Iblis. Same time, remember, this is the same Quran. So this is not different reading. And this is the Quran according to Hafs. 
So according to our reading, the verses is coming differently and they are presenting a, obviously a contradiction. Because either Allah says the one in the right or he says the one in the left. If you go here, verse number 33, and verse number 76, is totally different too. Did Shaitan say the first one in the right or the second one in the left? I mean, Muhammadan. Which one the what? Which one the Shaitan he said to Allah? Remember, this conversation did not happen twice, because Allah then he cursed Shaitan and he punished him. So, which one Shaitan he said? Any Muslim can help us. So, do you see how easy? And then we can continue reading the whole story, and you will see that they they don't match. Any Muhammadan. May they, may they, may they. So we do not need really to be scholars to find out that the story is a stupid story. And obviously Allah did not say and Shaitan did not say this is Muhammad making his own clay. And remember one thing, this is a conversation between two. And the one reporting it is one. As I told you, if the one reporting the story is a different person, we can accept that because, you know, uh, he, he, let us say, he put what he understood from the conversation. But this is not really what happened here. Allah is telling us what he said and what shaitan said. And there's no way for mistakes because the one who is saying to us the story is Allah. And the Muslim, they think that he is God. If I am the one who is trying supposedly to tell you the story about what Allah said and Shaitan, let's say I was witnessing the, witnessing the story there and Allah said, Shaitan said, I can maybe make a, put my own words to, to say Shaitan said so, which means meaning so. But here it is the conversation reported by one person supposedly his name is Allah. So how come the one person cannot report cannot re re repeat the conversation twice correctly? And why in the world even you are repeating the conversation? And Abdul, and as you see, don't tell me now you are lying. It's in front of your eyes. It's in the front of your eyes. Behold, the Lord said to the angels, I'm going to create a man from clay. Okay. Behold, the Lord says to the angels, I am about to create a man from sounding clay, a mud molded into a shape. What is the shape here? What happened to the shape and the more details? They are gone? Did the goat eat it? When I have fashioned him in due preparation between two brackets, forget about this one, between two brackets, and the breathing to him from my spirit, okay. They fell down in obedience to, his, uh, to, uh, to him. Okay, so this is one, it sounds like the same, but in fact, in Arabic, it's not. Read it. Uh, uh, when I fashioned him, actually, there's two uh, here, twenty-nine and seventy-two. They are they are perfectly matched. The translation is, is, is the translation is not right, but the Arabic is perfectly matched. All right. But look what happened. Here, the sentence is matching the other sentence in the other line. The second we go to the second sentence, they are different. 
this one is matching this one is not matching this one is not matching this one is not matching and here this one is matching so did really this conversation happened it was or it was a fiction story written by somebody any Muhammadan Shaitan Iblis he said I am better than he you created me from fire and you created him from clay here the answer is different which one Shaitan he said Muslims which one Shaitan he said the one 33 or 76 Who is the one who add the word shape? Your Muslim translation is weird, by the way. It says here, I'm not going to bow down to a human. You created him from mud. Min hama in masnoon. Where is the hama in masnoon here? Did Allah drop it? What is the word masnoon? Let us compare in Arabic now. Hmm? Now we can do that. Hold on. We need to move, uh, change the location of the page. So we can show the Arabic side. Hmm. Even if you do not know Arabic, you can tell there's Arabic word are missing. Hmm. Let us do this here. Maybe it's better to make a screenshot. So here you see, here one word, two word, three word, four, five. The last word is, uh, 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 you know, Allah he said to him, فَأَخْرُجْ مِنْهَا فَإِنَّكَ رَجِيمٌ You are regime. The last word. Here, Allah did not say, uh, uh, sorry, the, the verse here, uh, uh, 76, we need to read. Seventy-six. He said, I am better than him. You created me from fire and he created from teen. Okay, so the last word is he was created from teen. Did Shaitan use the word teen in the second verse? No. Which one he said? Here it says teen. He says salsal. You know, salsal is, uh, is kind of mud. Uh, but you know that when you make a brick, the red, the, the red uh, brick, you burn it, you put it in an oven. So this is what he's saying here. So sounding clay, mud molded into a shape. Okay, here, there's no such a thing. So did Shaitan say this one? Or he said this one? Somebody's saying, can you teach a difference between uh, house and Warsh? Uh, you know, uh, you see, all those uh, hafs and warsh, this is a, a stupid creation of Muhammad. Muhammad, as you see, he cannot repeat the same verse twice. So when the Muslims recite the Quran, uh, uh, they start fighting about Muhammad did not say that. So like Muhammad Quran, Quran once in front of me, he says something. In front of you, he says something else. So we meet together and we recite the same verses. We find that you are reciting different verses. So we fight over it. So what happened, Muhammad, he decided to come with the excuse saying that Allah, he sent the Quran in different reading. But different reading should not make the story different story. The Muslim, they say different reading mean like uh, uh, sounding or even uh, uh, the same word, but uh, let us say, uh, let's say the, the word uh, sirat, sirat, in Warsh come as Dhurat. But Dhurat in Arabic mean fort. The Muslim they say in certain people uh, accent, uh, the word Dhurat means Surat, which is very funny because Dhurat mean farting. So they, they say there's no big difference, but here we have we have the whole sentence is different. We have words they are totally taken away from the conversation. So this is the conversation really happened as it is, or it was a fiction story. Because here we are reporting a conversation what shaitan he said not reading 
You know what I mean? If Shaitan he said that, Shaitan said that. If Allah change in what Shaitan he said, that's mean Allah is a liar. Are we listening? Did Shaitan say the sentence or Shaitan did not say it? If the Shaitan is saying it, then there's no reading should be changed because simply Shaitan said so. You, you have, you know, what is the honesty of Allah to change and take words of Shaitan? Are you adding words to Shaitan he said? Or are you taking off words Shaitan he said? Either one, it's a corruption. If I say to you Shaitan, I spoke to Shaitan and Shaitan said this to me. And later we find, I repeat the same story again, and I say, Shaitan says this to me about the same incident. And then you find there is difference between them. What is that telling you? It means the person is lying. So, did the Shaitan, he mentioned the story? Did he, Shaitan, is talking here? Yes. Can Allah change the word of Shaitan? He give us different story? That means Allah is fabricating. If you read this verse here, let us go to English, English. Silly Muhammad. You see, I don't know in the screen, in your screen, how it's coming for me. I'm, I have to make it so small uh, in order to be able to put it for you in the screen but I don't know how much you can see really maybe the one who would do editing later he can take two screenshots and put them next to each other uh, so Iblis uh, Iblis he refused to uh, to bow down and he was from the Kuffar like hold on Where is the kuffar here? Here a Muslim, he can come use his art of, of, uh, 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 of answering, says, well, Allah, he added the word just to explain to us that he was a kafir. But that would be stupid. Because if Iblis, he refused to bow down to Adam, how that make him a kafir? In fact, the one who is a kafir is Allah, because how in the world Allah is ordering angels to bow down to a man? Is it bowing down is an act of worship? Is it the Muslim they say we bow down only to Allah? And I saw a, like a, a trend of a Saudi prince saying we bow down all to Allah and Donald Trump. Refusing to bow down to a person he is not God is not a kafir act. This is a good act. So how shaitan, he became a bad person because he refused to obey a stupid order of Allah to bow down to a human. Same time, the story is so stupid. Allah, he said to the angels, I'm going to create a human. The angels, they said to him, are you going to create someone who will do mischief in this earth? Yet Allah, he forced the angels to bow down to Adam. To Adam. Is it Allah, he did order Adam to get out of the heaven because he was a bad boy? <laughs> and not only that, if we look at the story, like more study of the story, you will see the story change in different chapter. It's totally changed. Inni ja'ilun fil ardi khaliqa. Let us go directly to the verse. Hold on. I hope the colors are not hurting your eyes. And 
here an example of Khalifa and Khalifa. In, in, in one reading it says, some Muslim they say it is Khalifa, not Khalifa. And there's a huge difference. Khalifa is someone who will inherit the earth. Khalifa is a creation. But the, 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 the uh, meaning is a huge in difference. Behold the Lord, he says to the angels, I'm going to create uh, 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 a person who will inherit the earth. They said, where do he place in the earth someone do mischievement? Here the story is different. Do you see? This is chapter 2, verse number 30. The story here is different. They said he will do mischievement, etc., etc. And then Allah, and Allah, he accused them to be a bunch of liars. The translation here is a false translation. It says, tell me those names if you are right. In fact, it says, if you are truthful, change the translator, you will find right away the Quran change, as usual, depending on the donkey who is translating. See? Truthful. So, the story here is different from the other two chapters too. There's no names. There's nobody objecting. objecting. There's no, you know, here there's different story here. Because they accuse Adam of mischievement, Allah, he ordered them to bow down. There, when he fashioned him, right away they bow down. Read carefully. In those verses here, Allah, he just report to the angels, I'm going to create somebody from clay. Wonderful. Angel said nothing. When I have fashioned him in proportion and breathed into him, they fell down right away to him. But this is not what happened in chapter 2, verse number 31, 32, 33, etc. Here the angels, they have an objection of Adam to be created, for he would do mischievement. Here Allah, he taught the angels, taught Adam, sorry, the names of all things, and then he placed those things in the front of the angels to prove to them that they know nothing. He said to them, I know not, I know what you know not. And then he, when he placed those things, he said, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful, which means Allah, he accused the angels to be a bunch of fraud liars. Because he did not say, if you know, he says, if you are truthful. And if the Muslim, they claim that Allah made a perfect Quran, then the perfect Arabic saying, if you are truthful, and even your translation saying so. If I say to somebody, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful, and then they fail to tell the names, that means the angels are not truthful. But this story is a story different from the story from the other chapter. So now we have the story repeated in three chapters. Each one of them is totally different. Even he say, she say is different. So how that can be from God? Why does God, he cannot even be honest, decent to tell us what shaitan he said exactly? Do we have any Abdu wanna call us? Do we have any Abdu who would like to call us? We are dry for the last two days from the Abdu. Where they go? Anyone? And admin, if this guy ultimate fart, he is in the chat just to block him. He is just, uh, you know, taking away the people focus from our topic. We don't want kids here. Do we have any Muslim here have a comment? So when your God, he say a story, the story should match. Remember, this is not a book written by authors. Like, you know, when we say uh, the Bible, according to John was well, also obviously John is writing there, right? It's not a secret according to Mark, according to Luke. So here, this is the Quran according to Allah. So why the story of Allah does not match with the story of Allah? If you are sitting in the front of the police and they say to you, okay, when you before you have the fight, what happened, what he said to you? And then you say it today, you say something, tomorrow you say something else, obviously it is a, it's a lie. And this is a one of many examples of the stupidity of the Quran. Because all the stories which Allah he repeated in the Quran is different. Any Abdul?
any Muslim objection? Anyone? And you know, we can show you endless stupidity in this book. Like, as an example, when when somebody challenged, uh, uh, challenged Abraham, let us go and close some browsers. Give me a second. All right. A person, he says to Abraham, uh, what your God can do. What your God can do. Show us what your God can do. You will see Abraham, he's saying something, I believe it is kind of funny to prove that Allah is God. Let us find the verse. <clears throat> the one who debated with Abraham, he have a dispute with Abraham. is asking Abraham what your God can do. He said to Abraham, uh, Abraham he says to him, Allah can give life, he can cause death. The king, he says, well, I can do the same. I can forgive you, let you live, and I can order to kill you. Abraham, he says, Allah will bring the sun from, uh, from the east. Can you bring it from the West? <laughs> Is that really a debate happened for real? Allah can bring the uh, from East and you bring it from the West. I can take this conversation as a silly conversation, no problem. But what is the proof now to the Muslims that Allah, he brought the sun from the East? Does really the sun even come from the East? Is that a statement of Abraham or Allah? Tell us what Abraham says. Did Allah inspire Abraham or Abraham was making his own statement? Anyone? Do Allah bring the sun from the east? Muslims? And then this person he asked Abraham, he said to him, okay, show me how Allah he bring the dead from, from, uh, uh, from the, like the one who's dead from the, uh, from the death. Okay. And the person said to him, just to have, uh, you know, to to be uh, sure that you are telling the truth. So Allah, he says to Abraham, take four birds and cut them pieces and scatter their body in the mountains and then call them, they will come back to you.
Muslims. How come it was so easy for Allah to make such a thing happen, but it is impossible to make anything happen to Muhammad? Look how easy it is. A guy said to Abraham, can you prove to me that your God can bring people from death? Abraham said, sure. Allah told me now, I will cut chickens, make them pieces, and I will call them, they will come back to me. I will put them even in different mountains. And he said, hey, chickens, all the chickens will come. Look how easy it is. Would Muhammad mission impossible? Allah, he refrained from making miracles. How this is, can be a book from God. And those stories Muhammad is telling us, all of them, we can find them in the, in the, in the, in the Jewish, uh, some in the Jewish uh, like fairy tales, uh, some in the Rabbi's book, like, you know, the story of uh, the ant speaking to Solomon. This is a legend. Or when Muhammad first time, he heard about the punishment of the grave. Muhammad, he added to the Quran. First time ever Muhammad, he heard of the punishment of the grave. It was from a Jewish woman. A Jewish woman, she said, most of the, the punishment of the grave is because of the urine. Muhammad, he took it, he adopted, and became his religion. Urine caused punishment of the grave. Is that a book written by illiterate or written, liter, written by an, an idiot? If the one who inspired Muhammad with this information is Allah, Aka Jibreel, and he said to him that urine will cause you to be punished in the grave, torture in the grave. Is that a statement of an idiot or a smart person? And then we search a little bit. We find that Muhammad never heard of this before until a Jewish woman, she said it. And then after that, he never stopped saying, I seek refuge from Allah. Uh, by Allah from the portion of the grave. Read carefully. A Jewish woman, she came to Muhammad and she mentioned the portion of the grave, saying to her, may Allah protect you from the portion of the grave. Remember, this is a story written by Muslims. We don't believe that Jewish, they say, may Allah. But anyway, this is what they say. Of the grave, Aisha, she asked the message, by the way, the different hadith says to her, Aisha, she said, you are a liar. Ash she accused a Jewish woman, she are a liar, this is stupid. She asked Muhammad about it, he said, yeah, this is true. And then after that, she never heard Muhammad praying without saying, I seek refuge from the punch of the grave. How come he never said that before? This is why Aisha, she was surprised. Correct? Aisha, she never heard this before. And now we ask the question, is this is a book written by illiterate? Yes. Don't text me to tell me, tell me, are you Christian Prince? If you are a Muslim, tell me I'm a Muslim, I will text you back or call you back. Where is, where is Allah in this Islam? You know, Islam, Allah is illiterate, literally, illiteracy here is not about knowing how to write, how to read. It's about being ignorant, stupid, fiction. Shaitan is deep in your nose. Is that a proof that Allah is not illiterate or Allah is illiterate? That we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. Mm. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified. So Muslims, is that teaching coming from the illiterate Allah or the educated Allah? 
The shaitan, he sleep in your nose and he piss in your ears and he jump in your mouth and he round himself around your penis. Anyone will send me and uh, like to ask me to uh, add him, I will block you. I don't add people, even Muslim, I don't add them. So stop sending me, add me, otherwise I will block you. Why you wanna, why you want me to add you anyway? What's wrong with people? Do you think I, this is like a collection of uh, friends? Uh, here we are here to teach. Skype is for Muslim to call me. Add me, can you add me please? I would like to add you. What is that for? I'm not going to talk to you anyway. Very weird people. Add me. The second you send me a message saying add me, I block you immediately. Specifically if you are a female. And for sure if you are a male too. Anything you want to say, you have the chat, you can say it, you can leave a comment later. Skype is only for Muslims to call us. Now, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim would like to call us? Maybe. Who is a Muslim and approved to us that the Quran is not written by illiterate God? You Muslim, you kept saying that Muhammad was illiterate. Well, it, uh, you know, I can agree with you. Obviously, Muhammad is an idiot. He's ignorant. And do we agree on that? But I never heard of a God. He himself is illiterate too. Any Muhammadan? Zero Muhammadan. By the way, I want to announce to you that we have our book uh, Six and Allah in uh, uh, volume number two in Russian already published. It's for free. It is in my uh, page in Patreon. You can download the, uh, the book if you speak Russian. Even if you don't speak Russian, I encourage you to download and post around because that will help us to make people know about it. It's for free. It's a gift from me as many books I give. So Six and Allah in Russian is ready, is published already. We just published it, you know, before I start today. And uh, 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 I encourage you really, even if you are nothing to do with the Russian language, just to copy, share the link everywhere. The more we share it, the more we make the book known. All right. Same we have uh, Albanian book. As you see, uh, Quran in Science, it's available for free too, and we post the link for you in my Patreon, and actually the admin is posting them. And soon we will publish more books for free. So let the whole world read and learn about the stupidity of the cult of the Muhammadan. Do we have any Muhammadan? The one who is trying to call me, you cannot call me. You have to ask first. Are you a Muslim? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Are you a Muslim? Yes. All right, would you like to say to us about the topic? Uh, you just said that there are three contradictions in the story with Adam, mm. right? No, I'm not saying contradiction. I'm saying contradiction in the statement, which mean uh, uh, what Adam said, uh, what uh, what Shaitan said, sorry, what Allah said. Did Allah speak the same story many times? Does, does this story happen once only or many times? Uh, yeah, but in your Bible, it's also free contradiction when it comes to the uh, crucifixion of Jesus. Mm. Once he says, uh, Father, forgive them, mm. and you know that. Mm. So what's wrong with that? Okay, let me answer you. 
first of all we have four bibles and the reason we have four bibles is because if they repeat exactly word by word then there's no need to write four so each of the bible cover a side of the story here we have four author writing the same story so here it says forgive them father the other one not need to repeat it because already he mentioned it but here we have the same author his name is allah he is repeating the same story but he cannot repeat it twice as it says he said here something he said there something so did allah speak to shaitan many time or once about that issue did yeah i, did I, I did understand I what you mean of, but did i hear a sound of a dog you have a dog there yes yes isn't it forbidden for you to have a dog uh not in your room you know i'm sorry my english is not good but you can keep him outside ah okay or not no i i what i know uh, uh if you have a dog allah will take out from your deed every day but anyway continue so did a shaitan says to allah uh, you made me from clay in one place and he says something the opposite in the other place yes okay so yeah, why, the conversa why the conversation is different then i'm honest to you i don't know okay you know okay you know what i'm, I'm going to forget about the topic obviously i respect your honesty you said i don't know can you give me a reason yes. for you as a muslim anything you can use anything any tool you want anything any uh, uh uh, uh, any reasoning you have to prove to us that the Quran is made by Allah who is knowledgeable not Allah is the illiterate you know uh, I am not born as a Muslim uh -huh. um, but as I know there are miracles in the Quran mm, like what uh, like the water that not mix you know mm. the verse yeah I know the verse yes okay the water does not mix with what yeah that you know, my English is not very good. I try my best. What is your first language? There is a verse. What is your first language? Uh, German. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, do the water, salty water and the uh, fresh water mix or they don't mix? Yeah, they don't mix. Okay. Um, Can you go to I, your kitchen right now and make two cups? One is fresh water and one uh, so have salt. And put them yeah, but in that, one pot. that's not what it means. No, it means what then? Uh, do you know? don't know? The place in the um, where the water don't mix the salt and the there's no such you a thing. don't know that there's no such a thing always water salty water and fresh water they mix when there is a current it take time because there is always more new water coming but always water mix secondly the Quran says that uh, uh, the salty water and the fresh water they don't mix because Allah he put a barrier and this barrier is a rock can you prove it to me oh, that yeah. it means that oh sure you are talking to Christian right. Prince. Yeah, right. i know you have a uh, very good knowledge all right this is the chapter 25 verse number 35 read it for me uh, 25 hmm. uh, wait a minute uh, Do you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Which verse? I'm Chapter sorry. 25, verse number 53. 53? Hmm. I, the thing is, I have it in German and I can't... Uh, ex okay, no English problem. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. I want you to look with me okay. in the screen. Okay? Look with me in the screen. Okay. Chapter 25, verse number 53. And as you see... This is not me. This is Ibn Kathir, right? You heard of Ibn yes. Kathir before, right? Okay. Hello? We will show you if it is really a rock or not. So the Muslims, they are lying to you. And sorry, I, I don't want to disrespect you. But simply, yes, you, you know. know, you've been a fool for, for believing them. You know? Uh, let us go back, sorry. You know, the thing is, um, they say to me, look, Christianity doesn't make sense. Look, We Islam. can talk about that. We can talk about that. No problem. Let's finish this one first. All and right. we will see. Here we go. Do you see my screen? Uh, yes. Okay. And I can share the link with you too. 
So you can be sure that this has nothing to do yeah, with me. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So here Ibn Kathir explain that there is uh, Allah created two kinds of water. One is sweet and one is salty. Sweet water like river, spring, or wells, which is a fresh. Sweet potable water. Okay. And then he continue. He says, وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَهُمَا بَرْزَخًا وَحِجَرًا Okay. All right. And he said between them a complete partition between them, meaning between the sweet water and the salt water. Barzakhan mean, can you read for me? Uh, kinds of water, sweet and salty. Hmm. Uh, springs, which is fresh. All right. Uh, so the water. Okay. So it don't mean that there are can't mix. Read. Right. Read, my friend. Read. It says, yeah, it, and the partition. Partition, which is a dry he land. This is what the word barzakh means. He has set a barrier and the complete partition between them. Yeah, which is a dry oh. land. Ah, oh, okay. So they did lie so right it's... away because anybody, any, anyone, he knew that the word barzakh is a barrier, which is a land. So the whole okay. fiction story is a fraud. Because anyone who speaks little Arabic, you can go right now to the dictionary and get there the word barzakh. And you will see barzakh simply when there is like two water from two sides and there is a piece of land between them. That is the barzakh. Oh, okay, so I didn't they, know that. So they lie to you trying to say that there is a miracle. And here you I need to ask yourself, why they lie to you? Yeah. Why the they other scholars say the same, right? This is the scholar, this is not the kids. The one who lied to you is the kids in, in the street, the one who tried to convert you to Islam. But this is here, the scholars. So why they are lying, the one who taught you that this is uh, salty water and the fresh water don't mix. Secondly, you can go right now and check. You will see that it's, they mix. No one in the world can tell you that salty water and the fresh water, they don't mix. They will be stupid to say so. It's impossible. This is a big fat lie. In the top of that, the Quran never mentioned such a thing. The Quran is claiming that the salty water and fresh water, they are two kinds of water they never ever mix, which is a stupid because all of us, we knew that the fresh water we have is coming from the rain, which is coming from the ocean, correct? Yes. Okay. But the verse here is saying they will never mix. Okay. I, I agree with you. Okay. So here, is that a mistake or is an error or, or this is a, a, a miracle? This is a mistake. Yeah. Okay. That's a mistake. Okay, so how you how you accept to be a Muslim? What I didn't hear you. How you accept to be a Muslim? If you just say this is a mistake. You know, they showed me things about Christianity, showed me Islam that there's only one God. My friend, and I'm be honest with you, I never heard something bad. My friend, you know? who care if Allah is one or two or three? If God is ten, if he said I am ten, he is ten. Do the number really make any difference for you? <laughs> I mean, we have to be smart, my friend. If Allah is 70 oh. or he's 80, who, uh, that's it. He is 80. What you can do? Either worship him or not. So this is the idea of one and two as if they have a privilege. This is a silly idea. This is only a, you know, a, a conversation for kids. If the God, he said, if there's only a God, we have to worship him. And this God, he have a family, let us say, he have a, a million, uh, you know, babies. And he said, I am God, I'm the one who created you. That's it, he is the one who created us, if he can prove it. Being one, being two, being three, being four, being seven, this is a stupid argument. Secondly, uh, do the Muslim even, they can prove to us that Allah is God. Anyway, here we go. What kind of God he think that the water, the fresh water and the salty water, they never mixed? He do not even know how the water function. Okay, you're right. So you should leave Islam right now, my friend. Yeah, but there's... Yeah, okay, okay. I agree with you. That doesn't make sense. So you decide to leave Islam? Yes. Right. I also watched other videos from you. Okay. Things like sperm coming from the backbone and... Yeah, in, in this one, by the way, this is true. Because, but this is only happened true for me. I am the only human being in this earth who have his sperm coming from the backbone, you know?
Yeah. <laughs> what kind of God this God is? And women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. You know, what a stupidity. And the sperm live inside the women for 40 days. It's like a vacation time. Alibaba in the cave. You know, a sperm, sperm live inside the women for 40 days. Yes. What kind of a stupidity is that? So obviously the one who wrote the Quran is illiterate. The one who gave Muhammad as the clean inspiration is illiterate. So Allah is illiterate, not only Muhammad. Now, as long, my friend, you decide to leave Islam, why you don't accept Jesus as your savior? You know, um, my family is Christian, but there's one big problem. I see myself with Christianity. Okay, tell me about it. Uh, do you know the story from the Bible where it says, um, I don't know how it says in English, there is a woman mm -hmm. who cheat on her husband. Okay. And then uh, she came to Jesus and the Jews want to uh, stone the girl for doing that. Okay. And uh, Jesus said, uh, sh uh, look at your own sin, first mm -hmm. of all. Mm -hmm. Do you know the story? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, and? But this is uh, not from the Bible. It's not from the original Bible. But what, what do you mean by original Bible? Yes, it was uh, even the Christians say that this is false. Also, uh, how can I explain to you? It was added. My friend, no Christian will say such a thing. Uh, I can show. I don't know no. how to if, uh, if search. If you want to say to me this person, that person, but this is not a Christian. There's no Christian will say that those were added. No Christian will say that. I, I can because, swear to you. Even second, I, my friend, my friend, I am a Christian. I tell yes. you that there's no Christian will say that because simply all, all the Christian sect, Orthodox, Protestant, Catholic, they agree with the story. So anyone he say, this is his own statement. This is not a Christian statement. We have a church, you know, we have a church. We are not just individual walking in the street and everybody he come with his own meaning and his own say. So, this is a story, it happened for real. Otherwise, they have to prove the opposite. Do they have the original? No, but... Okay, hold on. So, if they, uh, uh, when somebody says to you, this is not in the original, but he don't have the original, he claimed that he have. How he can find out that this is not in the original? Yeah, that's that's even the thing. Do you know the whole, it's the first Bible you have? Uh, codex, um, how it says, Codex, Zeneticus, you know that? Mm -hmm. But this is not the first Bible we have, you see. We, yeah. we don't have something no. called first Bible, we have manuscript. A full Bible, no. I know I know what you mean. Yeah, but we have manuscript, this... let, let me explain to you please. You see, because the Christians in the beginning, they were poor people, and they used yes. to write the Bible on papers, not on leather. They can't afford it, leather is only for the kings and you know people who can afford it very expensive and then now that is expensive correct so, yes so they they wrote their books in a the very cheap the cheapest material you can imagine because simply they are poor this is why it was not did not live for long to come to us then after we have a kings who they become a christians those kings they order to write what was in papers into leather and those are the right. ones who preserved. And in those ones, we have the story there. All right. Yeah. And but... my, my friend, let, let, me, let me tell you. Let us say for the sake of argument, this story is not exist. Let us say the book of John, all of it, does not exist. That will not change yes. anything. That will not change anything. That Jesus is God. Because all yeah. what we need, all what we need, a sentence from Jesus and an act of Jesus to believe in Jesus. Because anyone can say, I'm God, worship me. I can say that, you can say that. But when we mm. confirm that Jesus, we believe that Jesus, he resurrect people from death. We believe that Jesus says, I am God's son. We believe that Jesus says, I am from above, you are from below. And we, you know, there's millions of things. So one book, let us say there's no book of Isaiah, it's gone. Let us say there's the book or the Old Testament is gone. Still not gonna change anything. Even the stupid Quran agree. And remember, the Quran came 600 years after Jesus, right? Yes. And the Muslims, they say, there's no original Quran. This is what they told you, right? I mean, uh, 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 gospel, correct? Right? This is what they say to you. Uh, yes, yes. So where the Muslims, they, okay, so where the Muslims, they got it from? 
that Jesus he created somebody from a, a bird from the mud and Jesus he uh, 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 made made the, the dead alive and he made the blind see and he can tell you what you hide in your houses where it goes from yeah, if they did not get it from the Christian if they did not get it from the Christians then we need to explain to us they got from where so obviously the Muhammadan themselves they are the one who is collecting stories from Christian sect otherwise they have no information themselves if they do show us the book which they have in their hand, which is opposing our book. If you go in the Quran, you will see the Quran saying, lima ma'ahum." Allah says in the Quran, He agree with, He confirm what is with them. Yeah, yes. Okay. I know so, the story. All right. So if Allah agree, confirm what is with us six hundred years after Jesus. Well, the books we have today goes way beyond six hundred. Yes, years. that's also. Uh, I asked an uh, imam by us, and he said, in this time, you know, it wasn't falsified, but then I okay, also looked wonderful. to videos. My friend, my wait, friend. wait, wait. Okay. What? If he said to you at that time it was not falsified. Yes, yes, but then I watched it. the weed. <laughs> what? That's mean we have it at that time was not falsified, so the Muslim should have it. Yes, because also the uh, Quran says... Uh, the Christians say that the Messiah is the same like Allah, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yes, then it doesn't make sense really. Yeah, at that time, the Christian they say that the Messiah is Allah. The, this is the Quran way of expression, but the Christian they don't say the Messiah is Allah. The Christian they say the Messiah is God, right? So the stupid Quran uh, yeah. proved them to be liars because either confirm what is with us and what with us is saying that the Messiah is God. What happened that Muhammad is a hypocrite man? When he sit with the Jews, he's a Jew. When he sit with the Christian, he's a Christian. When he sit with the Sabian, he's a Sabian. When he sit with the Mushrikeen, the one who worshiped the three years of Allah, he worshiped him with them, same as satanic verses. So the fraud Muhammad, he changed his skin color like a lizard, the bent in the background. Wherever he go, he is one of them, just to earn support and to agree that he is a prophet. This is why in the Quran, Muhammad, he says those who they are Jews and those who they are a Christian and those who they are Sabian, they will go to heaven and they have no fear. How the Sabian who worship stars, they became saved. Mm. That's impossible. You see, I can go, I can let go of the Christian and the Jews, right? But the Sabian, yes. how he insert the Sabian there? Sabian at the time of Muhammad was the most well-known religion ever. It's older, way older than Christianity. Even the Pharaoh, he was a Sabian. Even the Egyptian, they used to be Sabian. Even Yemen used to be Sabian. The temple of the moon god in Yemen is built by the Sabian. This is why the Sabian, if you go to the book, it's called Kenza Rabba. You, you will find that the Sabian, they claim that Adonai, the god of the Jews, he is the devil. Why? Because Adonai, he ordered the Jews to do circumcision. So how Muhammad, he agreed that the one who say that the God of the Jews is a devil because of circumcision. How he agreed that those two go to heaven? Mm. I know what you mean. Those are enemies, you know, the Jews the, 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 and, and the Sabi and they hate the Jews too for the other reason. Because they believe that Adonai, which is the devil supposedly, the God of mm. the Jews is so evil. And he is the one who can, who destroyed the kingdom of their great leader, the Pharaoh. So they believe that the Pharaoh and the people of Egypt, they used to be Sabian. And Adonai, the God of the Jews, he sent a flood and he killed the Pharaoh. And this is why they hate the Jews too. Okay, he did never hurt this. Well, stay with us, my friend, and you will learn always. This is what we do here. So, my friend, still, I'm asking you, what is making you stop? Don't you want to celebrate Christmas with the Christ this year? You know, I... Yes. So, what are you waiting for? I invite you, and I say to you, yeah. there's no better person than the Messiah to follow, and there's no better person with ethic, with knowledge, with a statement, with teaching, with act, 
and miracles and power as the Messiah. So why in the world you decide to leave Islam today? But what is stopping you from accepting the Messiah right now? I accept him. I mean to that. We are very happy for you. Hallelujah. So today we have our friend here. I'm not going to mention your name. Our friend here from Germany. He is going to celebrate the joy of a Christmas with his family. He's back home to his parents as a Christian person. And I want you from now on, my friend, to be vigilant, not to let those Abdul. I mean, how in the world, my friend, such a stupid religion, they can deceive you. How that can happen to you? You know, when I would know that before, I would tell them what are you believing in. But to be honest, I uh, saw your videos uh, like three or four days before. And yes, I don't really believe in it. I can't believe in it. This is the book of stupidity. If you know anyone, the Muslims, they were able to fool and make him accept the garbage of Muhammad. Please bring him here. Let him call me and I will All be right. happy to help. All right. All right. All right. Thank you for, for being with us. And we pray the Lord will bless you and bless your family. And uh, you. we pray that the Lord will uh, give you the joy of Christmas. It's called the Christmas. The Muslim, by the way, they will say to you, do you know Christmas is a pagan day? It's not. Christmas, it is a Christ day. That would be pagan yeah. if we're celebrating Sunday, which means the day of the sun, right? We are celebrating yeah. Christ. The day is what you celebrate, not the date. They, they will say to you, do you know the origin of the 25th of December was for the pagan? Who care? We are celebrating in that day Christ. We are not celebrating that the pagan. It's them who kiss a stone. It is them who they are the pagans. It's them who worship Muhammad. Just two days ago, a guy, he insulted Muhammad according to them. They burned him alive in Sri Lanka. They are the one who worship a man in Islam if you insult Allah if you say the F word to Allah they will not kill you they will give you three days to repent if you insult Muhammad they will burn you alive this is how much pagan they are all right yes all right my friend God bless you and say hello to all your family and Merry Christmas from now okay thank you CP take care we are happy to our friend here